got tore up. You know what I'm saying? This is what they did. They realized I was the weed man, right? And so they rolled on me like, you know, one rolled on me like, yo, what's up? I know you speak Spanish. And took him to Boom. And light him up. I turned him on, gave him a boom. He came out of his cell. He bought 15 packs of cigarettes to me. He <laughs> said, yo, here, man. What was that for? You see it like he was like, yo, just give me a little weed. Cuba. So, yeah. So I gave him some weed. And he was like, all right, cool. Boom. And then the next day he was like, yo, man, that weed is good, man. Yo, you the man. You be having that weed, man. I got two cartons, man. What can you do for that? I said, I got you. I gave him two cartons. I gave him his weed. Boom. The next time I seen him, he was like, yo, I got some of my own weed, man. You know what I'm saying? I see you in the yard tonight. We smoke. And I was like, uh-uh. Nah. 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 I saw I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to shoot him tonight. I'm going to shoot him. But his man hit me. I was lined up for that. I was lined up. They called and put the baby in the crib and rock him to sleep, but I didn't go to sleep on him. I was going to hit him anyway because he Cuban. I don't like I don't like the way <laughs> Just he Just because he Cuban. No, yeah, yeah. And I know he know this nigga Panchito. I know he know this nigga because they all came over him here together. Because he Cuban. Yeah, and they all came over here together. And I'm going to hit this nigga. So he gave me some money and all of that, but I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit this nigga. And I went out there with my knife. And when he was like, yo, you know, I just want to talk to you about certain shit. And I was like, yo, what we going to talk about? He was like, yo, you know Panchito, right? When he said Panchito, I put my shit down. I banged him twice. Boom, boom. He dropped him on the floor. I went to lift the breakout. And, and the Cuban nigga hit me, the other one. Boom, boom. He got me. He got me. And that's he, the way you didn't tell her. You said you fell on the pole or something. Yeah, I ain't tell on them. So I went out and and I went in and in, in voluntary pr protective custody. I went to the hospital. From the hospital, they packed up all my shit. From the hospital, I stayed in the hospital for two and a half weeks. After that, I was shackled, sent to my next jail. When I got to my next jail, I stayed in my cell in population for three days, 72 hours until a sergeant could come see me. When the sergeant came to see me, he asked me, did I have any enemies? In the cell, I said, yo, how the fuck I know if I got enemies here? I just got here, man. Do you know if I got enemies here? He was like, now nah, that I ain't here, then I'm fine. Let me out. Let me out, and I went to population. All right. <coughs>